Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. alaikum. This is Adnan Imad from Excellence Online Platform. Uh, today I am going to teach, uh, teach you about uh, narration, uh, part 3, and direct and indirect speech. As previous session, we discussed basic rules, fundamental principles regarding the narrations, and direct and indirect. How to change, how to apply, how to understand, how to solve the exercises. Whether you are from a uh, uh, ninth, tenth, first or second year graduate, uh, only will from different school of thoughts. We will discuss this. <coughs> yes, class. Uh, today we are discussing interrogative uh, uh, sentences. And interrogative sentences, we have two types of sentences. Interrogative question, we have two. One is confirmative, in which we have yes or no answer. It starts from uh, the helping, uh, the helping verbs, in which we have confirm confirmation are you a scientist yes i am no i am uh, will you attend seminar yes i will or i will not this kind of sentences this kind of questions uh, we uh, name them as uh, confirmative questions we have another type of sub question uh, <coughs> informative question in which you have nine wh words how what where whose whom and more what's your name <coughs> How will you get success? When will you get up early in the morning? These kind of questions. We say WH question in which we do not have yes or no answer. Uh, we have uh, uh, information, we will reply, we will uh, uh, give a relevant answer. So today uh, we are going to discuss about uh, interrogative sentences or uh, interrogative questions uh, in narration. As you can see here, how to change uh, these. Uh, we have got some uh, rules. Uh, she said to him, will you attend seminar today? Uh, she said to him, uh, will you attend seminar today? So first we will recognize, will you attend seminar today? It is start from a will, helping verb. Uh, we do not have WH words. Uh, we, we don't have a what, where, whose, whom, why, how. We st uh, this start from a, a will, from helping of auxiliary verbs. <laughs> so first basic rule is said to will be changed. Uh, into us, inquired of. Uh, interrogated like this but in most of the books we have two words one is uh, asked second form or inquired of beside these words we can use many more words uh, questions uh, interrogated inquired of asked these she said to him a uh, will you attend seminar today she said to him uh, we have a uh, interrogative sentence interrogative question so said to will be changed into ask she asked him uh, we have confirmative question for confirmative uh, when we join two sentences uh, we do not use uh, uh, that we use if or whether so for joining two classes we have if or whether she said to him she asked him uh, if uh, you is second person pronoun right one second person will be changed according to the object of the sentence object of reporting a speech here object is uh, him she said to him she asked him if or whether uh, interrogative we will convert into affirmative sentence in affirmative subject will be in the starting uh, you we will take first uh, you will be to, know, to object him uh, she said to him she asked him if uh, he uh, would attend seminar that day a uh, will and today we will change a uh, will uh, would uh, today that day I'm repeating uh, she said to him she asked him uh, will you attend seminar today uh, if he would attend seminar that day this is completion hopefully you understood uh, next uh, they said to them uh, do you perform your duties uh, uh, honestly uh, he said to them uh, do you perform it is start from a do uh, do means helping of and it is an interrogative sentence and confirmative question for confirmative for joining two classes do you have if or whether uh, they said to them they asked them if uh, you, uh, this is the interrogative, we will convert into affirmative. You is subject, we will take first. You second person pronoun, we will change into object. Uh, they say to them, they ask them, uh, do you, uh, if uh, they uh, perform their duties honestly. Uh, they say to them, uh, they ask them, if uh, they performed their duties honestly. This is right answer. Uh, second we have. Uh, he said to them, have you done your assignment? He said to them, have you done your assignment? This uh, we have. 
again the same rule same application same principles we will apply uh, he said to them he asked them for joining if or whether have you done your assignments okay. interrogative we will convert into affirmative sentence uh, you we will change uh, you to them as an object then they uh, he said to them he asked them if they had done their assignments this is another example we have so hopefully you are getting remaining are your assignments you can do at home so follow uh, some rules and principles of narrations when we have interrogative sentences so false is said to will be changed into as inquired of interrogative or question uh, second for joining two classes a uh, reporting is speech and reported is speech uh, we do not use uh, that rather that we use uh, if or whether then we have some principles we discussed in the previous rules in the previous classes uh, today that day yesterday the uh, day before and uh, tenses will be changed first person second person we will change this is all about interrogative sentence for interrogative sentences we have two kinds of sentences uh, two kinds of questions one is uh, confirmative second is informative so it was all about confirmative we will discuss second <coughs> of uh, uh, interrogative sentence informative question <coughs> number second we have a uh, uh, interrogative question we have two types one is confirmative second is informative uh, informative means uh, we have wh words uh, we have nine wh words when we ask question we use uh, these wh words for communication for interrogation so here is a uh, <coughs> Uh, she said to him, when will you attend seminar today? She said to him, first is, uh, we have two speeches, reporting a speech and reported a speech. At the end of the speech, we have question mark, interrogative sentence. Uh, the question is start from WH words, when. Uh, when means informative. We will not use uh, if or whether for joining two classes. She said to him, she asked him. She inquired him. She interrogated him. Uh, she questions him uh, gee, uh, we will not use that even we will not use uh, if or whether when remain same all wh words whether when where how what how, uh, and other wh words uh, we will not change and they will be same second is will you attend seminar today uh, you is a subject we will uh, put in before uh, the will uh, when uh, you will be changed according to the object he when he would attend seminar that day I'm repeating revising try to understand uh, she said to him she asked him no whether no if no that uh, when wh about same position as a conjunction we are using uh, uh, you we will change according to the object he he would attend seminar today this is false idea number second uh, they say to them what can you uh, do <coughs> for your country number next sentence uh, he said to them where do you study uh, he said to them where do you study again uh, it start from uh, where wh words uh, he said to them he asked them uh, where it will remain same uh, do you study uh, you according to the object them where they uh, studied uh, she said to them how will you improve your performance she said to them she asked them how wh words without using that if for whether how number second we have uh, a value so we will put uh, uh, you first you second person we will change how they uh, would uh, improve their performance and this is second idea we have and a more last sentence I am just reading. Uh, she said to him, where is your friend? She said to him, she asked him, uh, where it remains same, uh, is your friend, uh, where uh, his friend was. So today we discuss about uh, narration, interrogative sentences. We have two parts of interrogative sentence. One is confirmative, second is informative question. Hopefully you like this video. Inshallah, we will discuss next. Thank you.